got snow, we've got clear skies forecast, although it's not looking too good right now. Hopefully it clears. We're a couple of days away from the Geminids meteor shower peak, so hopefully we can get a few shooting stars tonight. But the moon does come up at 20 to 2, which is a shame because meteor showers tend to pick up in the hours before dawn. But uh, I'm a little bit excited. absolute gale up there and we've got some serious snow coming in so I'm gonna get the tent set up and hope that it clears again later. Ah, home sweet home. <laughs> Ooh, I guess time for some food, a cup of coffee and then pray that these clouds clear up. Guys, and now there's an absolute blizzard rolling in. Oh, so I need to get back to the tent. <laughs> the question here is do I go for a coffee? Or a hot chocolate. Coffee is a bit optimistic because that means I'm going to stay up. Hot chocolate means screw it, let's go to bed. I hope for a good sunrise. Ah, oh, decisions! <laughs> I come out of the tent, it clags over again. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go find a composition. I'm just gonna wait it out. I'm gonna be patient. Maybe do some star jumps. It's now or never. We've got an hour until the moon rise. So, wish me luck.
Yeah, you couldn't hear me. It was it was way too windy up there. But I was just explaining that I've come back to a composition which I found a couple of years ago, and because of the sort of pointy profile that it gives Penavan, I always knew it would look good with a little bit of snow, almost alpine even. And I did manage to get it with snow shortly after I found the composition, but I didn't get it with snow and stars in the sky. So I've come back this night because it's winter and there's snow on the ground. I wanted to get the composition with the winter circle in the sky, which is a collection of bright stars from various constellations. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. I had to do a four shot Vertorama to squeeze it all in and I was shooting an f2.8 ISO 3200 and exposing for 25 seconds. This is the final image. So this is known as the winter circle, or some people like to call it the winter hexagon. We've got Castor and Pollux, which are the heads of the twins Gemini. Capella, which is the brightest star in the constellation Origa. We have Aldebaran, which is the eye of the bull, Taurus. We then got Rigel, which is part of Orion the hunter, one that pretty much everyone knows. Then we have Sirius, the brightest star in the night sky and part of the constellation Canis Major. And we also have Procyon, which is part of Canis Minor, the two hunting dogs there. And it kind of replaces the Milky Way, so when Milky Way season finishes, you get the winter circle taking over the night sky instead. And then I've really enjoyed photographing it lately, and I think it's an area of the night sky that doesn't really get enough attention from wide-angle astrophotographers. Anyway, at this point, I just stopped vlogging. I was really losing the battle against frost. The lens was frosting over, the tripods were freezing shut. And so I put the Sony camera away and I had about half an hour until moonrise. So I just wanted to make the most of the clear skies and the snowy peaks before the moon came up. And um, yeah, here are some of the other images I took that night. watching another vlog make sure to hit subscribe if you want to see some more of these vlogs in the future make sure to use the hashtag Wittens if you want your moon shots to be featured in my next what's in the night sky video and if you're going out to enjoy the night sky anytime soon I wish you good luck and clear skies